What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and it seems as though we have new stuff to do and it's definitely worth a dance. I mean Bungie have updated the game so we have new stuff to do, a new person to earn rep with, uh, new bounties, new daily bounties etc etc, new weapons to earn, armour, shaders, titles and emblems etc and I'll take you to her location right now. Wow you lagging motherfucker. And she's in this whole new area. And you can see she's standing in front of a sexy ass ship, Baba Beast. Um, and if you've missed it as well, there's actually a dead ghost over there. You can see it right there on the railing. Now we come to her, we approach her, the Queen's Emissary. We approach her, we see what she's got. She has two new shaders, two new emblems, uh, a actual armor. I'm guessing this is going to, obviously, it's going to be different for each character. And we've got three rare weapons. We've got the, her right hand, the Vesta Noble, and the Merciless. Now that's a hand cannon, scout rifle, and a auto rifle. I may actually get the auto rifle, I'm not sure yet. Shaders are called Rose Gold and Primson Dancer. We have emblems which are Queen's Guard Crest and the Crown of the Sovereign. And the cloak is called Cloak of the Sith Rain. That's probably going to be called Diff. Well, it's going to, be, going to be obviously something different for each actual character. Now she's got reputation, you need to rank up. And the way you rank up this reputation, you can see it's not of a thousand for rank one. I'm guessing it's going to be the same for every rank. Uh, the way you rank her up is to do her daily bounties and then you, I'll take you to the actual bounty dude now and we'll see how much reputation you get for each one and that will determine how long it will take to actually rank her up to get the items she actually get uh, provides so we take go to this dude here um, you can see we've got six daily bounties uh, refresh every 24 hours defeat 20 guardians with a scout rifle obviously that is a crucible uh, defeat 20, uh, that's another crucible. Defeat 20 guardians with a hand cannon with headshots. Fucking out of both headshots. Um, collect 200 ether drops from fallen enemies on any planet. That's going to be pretty easy. Uh, but you do get 100 for these two, you get 50 for that one, and it's a thousand to level up to rank one. So, probably a couple of days at least if you do all the bounties and you will rank her up. Uh, what else we got here? Defeat two fallen with 100 with headshots, 200 with headshots. <laughs> Let me just rephrase that. Defeat 200 Fallen with headshots. Shouldn't be too hard either. Defeat Rixis, the Devil Archon in the Cosmodrone on Earth. That shouldn't be too hard either. And we've got Defeat Drakeless Winter Kill in the Scrooge of the Winter on Venus, which shouldn't be hard either. So basically, we've got 100 for that, 100 for that, 100 for that. That's 300, 400. Uh, 500 you can get in a day, so it's going to take at least two days if you do do every bounty. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get to rank two and three for her actual items. Hopefully, them auto rifles, even though they're only blue rares, hopefully there's something good. Um, I do need a, no a new auto rifle. The one I'm using now is just standard. I mean, scout rifle. I ain't got nothing great. Uh, auto rifle wise I do need something badass but guys what are you guys going to be doing first are you going to be doing her bounties are you going to even bother ranking her up to get that reputation to earn them items let me know down below also drop a like on this video I do appreciate the support if you are new to my channel and do enjoy this daily destiny content make sure you subscribe for plenty more thanks for watching guys and peace out till next time peace